Now at the start of the fall 2020 school year and in light of COVID precautions, schools like many places are adjusting to meet strict regulations, but in COVID-19 impeding their ability to offer the best possible education for students. Lloyd Allen has more from an official body charged with ensuring standards for all schools. Now in recent weeks, we have heard a lot about new norms, particularly adjustments in the area of education. Now part of NACOB's mandate is to ensure consistent standards for courses and curriculum at schools in the country. Has COVID-19 created new considerations for your overall goals? Yes, it has. Um, in March, when we had our first lockdown, we gave all institutions that were registered um, carte blanche to do um, hybrid online learning at that time. Since then, we ask that those who are going to continue in that line of work to let us know and to fill out a substantive change form informing us which what type of platform they're going to use. Coming opening of schools, we uh, have a home-based instruction application for those persons who want to find someone just to supervise their kids while they do their online work. Now, when considering the uh, many students uh, graduating out of the system annually in the absence of statistics, are there new considerations that students or parents uh, need to regard when it comes to transitioning from secondary to tertiary education, especially when considering studies abroad? Well, first of all, a lot of kids would have already taken their SATs prior to the um, lockdown and the shutdown, and those students would be safe. In terms, they would have probably already gotten um, acceptance because it happens around January. Those that were waiting for their results, the institutions themselves must make uh, adjustments to accommodate them. And I think, I know uh, UB has. As for the international ones, I have no idea. And while home schools may not be under your remit, many schools have introduced modified, like you said, hybrid systems. Now, regarding curriculum, are there any specific considerations that are being made that are important for small schools or other education centers using this approach? They just have to ensure that the information they want to cover in their curriculum is covered, whether they use YouTube to download um, things or if they use Google Classroom or Zoom or what have you. They have to ensure that their students cover the material they expect them to. Are there any specific recommendations coming in from NACOB that would require schools to up their games and create a standard format for all students? No, no, we can't have standard formats because students learn differently. We just expect them to maintain a certain standard in terms of following the guidelines for what they say they're going to do, that they do it. Institutions that offer international standards you know you have your ib and your various um, types of uh, curriculum that some private schools adhere to that would be dependent on those organizations to change dr dal again thank you for your time and continue to stay safe you too stay safe for the morning edition lloyd allen zns network news